Okay, next part, multiplying and dividing fractions. Okay, these are going to be pretty cake. They ask you these weird questions at the beginning. Okay, insert the proper numerical values. It says 2 fifths times 3 fourths means that when 3 fourths is divided into A equal parts, B of the A parts are taken. So what you need to do is put A equals B equals. That's your answer. So 3 fourths is divided into 5 parts, so A is 5, and then 2 parts are taken, B is 2. That's literally all you do. 5 thirds times 1 half means that when 1 half is divided into A equal parts, B of the A parts are taken. So the 1 half is being divided into 3 parts, so A equals 3, and 5 of those parts are taken. Other words, other words known as an improper fraction. Okay, 127 64 times 10 and 9 tenths means that when 10 and 9 tenths is divided into 64 equal parts, B of the A 127 are taken. Okay. Okay, now we get into multiplying fractions. Much you can use a calculator. Now, if I didn't have the eight the luxury of a fraction key on the calculator. You don't have to get the same denominator on multiplying and dividing. That's adding and subtracting. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 2 is 8. And that's reduced. 1 third times 2 thirds. 2 ninths. Okay. 5 eighths times 5 eighths. Even though the denominators are, denominators are the same, they have to be multiplied. 25 sixty fourths. 19 twentieths times 3 fifths. 57 over 100. 3 fourths times 2 thirds times 9 tenths. Don't have to match the denominators. 6 times 9 is 54. 12 times 10 is 120. Now both of those are even, so I would divide by 2. 27 over 60. Okay. Now, they're not even anymore, so if two, you can't divide by 2, we could divide it by 3, okay? See if it divides, they do, it'd be 9 twentieths, okay? Kind of like the prime factor rule, try dividing by 2, 3, 5, 7, okay? Okay, 11 twelfths times 5, 6 times 3 twentieths, 55, 55 times 3 is 165, 70, I don't know that. 1,440. Well, you can't divide by 2. Can you divide by 3? Yep. Which is 55 over 480. Can't divide by... We already know 2 doesn't work. 3 won't work, 5 will, because that ends in a 5, that ends in a 0, so that's 11, which is a prime factor over 96. Now it's reduced, because 96 can't divide by 11. The only way you could reduce the prime factor is if the other number was divisible by that prime factor. Okay, that's multiplication. Okay. 1 half times 5, you could put that over 1, it'd be 5 over 2, but then they're going to want it as a mixed number. 2 goes into 5 twice, 4 gives me a remainder of 1, so 2 and a half. Again, calculate it, it's fine. 7 eighths times 11 over 1, so that's 77 over 8. 8 goes into 72 9 times, or 77 9 times. 8 times 9 is 72, so we get a remainder of 5, so 9 and 5 eighths. 10 times 31 over 32. So 10 times 31 is 310 divided by 32. I'm going to do this old school. I'm going to guess a number. Okay. Um, well, 9 sounds good. Darn, I'm good. Okay. So 9, so I would, not 32 times 9 is 288. Gives you a remainder of 22. 22 over 32, which of course we can divide both of those by the common factor of 2. So it's 9 and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Use the ABC key and you don't have to do all that stuff. Okay. 
two fifths times three sevenths, so it's six thirty fifths. Those do not have a common factor to divide by, other than one, which is dumb to do. Okay. 7 over 12 times 8 over 21. Okay, 7 times 8 is 56. 12 times 21, 252. By the way, nobody does this. Teachers used to say, oh, cross out common factors. You could, okay? Like 7 and 21 are both in the third row, in the seventh row, so divide by 7 is 1. You can divide before you multiply. Divide by 7, here's 3. 8 and 12 are in the fourth row together, so divide by 4, here's 2. Divide by 4, here's 3, so that'd be 2 ninths. Then you don't have to reduce it all the time. Okay, 1 half times 10 and 3 eighths. Now when multiplying, since we need to multiply the tops and the bottoms, that 10 can't be there. You need to rewrite that as an improper fraction. It's over 8, 80 plus 3 is 83, 10 times 8. Okay, 83 and 2, 83 and 8, no. This was 83 over 16. 16 goes into 83 five times, times 6, it's 80 with a remainder of 3. So 5 and 3, 16. Again, A, B, C, don't have to do that. 3 fourths times 12 times 1 and 5 eighths. So 12 can go over 1. That 1 can't be in the front. So it's 3 fourths times 12 over 1 over 8 times 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, 3 and 4 don't have any common factors. Neither does 3 and 8. 12 and 4 have a common factor, though, because they're both in the fourth row. I could divide them both by 4. So that would become a 1. That would become a 3. Okay, and then 13 is prime. So 3 times 3 times um, 13 is 117 divided by 8. Then I take 8 into 117. 8 goes into 11 once times 3, or 8 times 1 is 8. That's not your remainder because you still have a 7. It goes into 37 4 times. 8 times 4 is 32, 5. So the remainder is 5, so it would be 14 and 5 eighths. Okay, whoops, I forgot about that one. 6 and 7 eighths times 4 and 1 fourth. Again, we, to multiply fractions, we multiply tops and the bottoms, but that means that whole number can't be there like, it, like when I add and subtract. You can't take 6 times 4 and then 7 eighths times 1 fourth. It doesn't work that way. So 8. 4, 6 times 8 is 48, plus 7 is 55, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17, okay? 55 and 8 don't have a common factor, neither does 55 and 4, and then 17 is prime, so it's not going to have any common factors with the 8 and the 4. So 55 times 17, 9, 35, 8 times 4 is 32. 32 goes into 9, none. It goes into 6, 93 twice. So 32 times 2 is 64. The 93 minus 64 is going to be 29. That's not your remainder. You still got to drain the 5 down. 32 into 95, I guess. Okay, let's say 7. Okay, that's kind of high. How about 8? Okay, uh, kind of low. So 6, 256, okay, still kind of low. How about 9, 27, 28. Okay, it'll go in 9 times. 32 times 9 is 288 with 7 left over. So remainder 7 over 32. All right, dividing fractions. Again, you can use the ABC function on your calculator. That's just fine with me. But here's how you do it without, okay? You actually keep the first fraction, and then you make that a times, and then you flip the second to 4 over 1, okay? So 4 and 2 have a common factor of 2, so we divide by 2. That's 1. Divide by 2, it's 2, and it's just 2. You don't need the 1s on the bottom.
5 8 divided by 1 8. Make that times, flip that to 8 over 1. Well, 5 doesn't have a common factor on the bo either bottom, but the 8 and the 8 are common. You can just get rid of those, and it ends up as 5 over 1, which is 5. 3 16 divided by 3 8, so times 8 over 3. So 3 and 3 are common factors. If they're the same, you just get rid of them. They become 1s, but those are irrelevant. Okay, 8 and 16, so those, like, those could be reduced by 8. So that's 1 and that's 2. So you end up with 1 half. Because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, 11 over 12 divided by 5, 6. That's the same as timesing by 6 over 5. 11 to 12, 11 doesn't have any common factors on bottom. 6 and 12 are greatest common factor out of 6 and 12, 6. So divide by 6 is 1, divide by 6 is 2. So 11 times 1 is 11, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 goes into 11 once, 10 times 1 is 10, minus, I get remainder 1, so 10 and 1, 1 and 1 tenth. Okay, 4 ninths divided by 1 sixth, switch it to times, and that's going to be 6 over 1. Okay, 4 and not, 4 doesn't have any common factors, but 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So divide that by 3, it's 2. Divide that by 3, it's 3. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 goes into 8 twice. 3 times 2 is 6, with a remainder of 2. So again, the process of multiplying and dividing is totally different than when I add or subtract. Add and subtract is all about making the bottoms the same. Multiplying and dividing, it's all about you know multi getting one a numerator denominator on each fraction. Okay, and then once that's there, you can cross out before you multiply. Then you won't have to do a bunch of reducing at the end. Well, I know you're going to use ABC anyway, so you know I just think if I'm going to put this on YouTube, I should show myself what the whole process, okay? 10 over 11 divided by 4 over 9, that would be times 9 over 4. 10, 11, 10, 4, okay, those have a common factor of 2, so divide that by 2, it's 5, divide that by 2, it's 2. Then 9 and 11, no common factor there, 9 and 2, none there. So 5 times 9 is 45, 11 times 2 is 22. There's a way to do this in your head, too. 22, 44, it goes in twice. 44 is one shy of 45. 2 and 1, 22nd. I'm actually going to start doing my head. Okay. Next one, we're going to have 12 divided by 1 half. So 1, make it times 2 over 1. So the ones are obsolete in the bottom. If they're on top, you got to account for the one. But twelve times two is twenty-four. Okay, three and nine over thirty-two divided by eleven over sixty-four. So I'm going to times by sixty-four over eleven. But we need then this. We got that has to go. Okay. So thirty-two on bottom. Then I take three times thirty-two. That's ninety-six. And add 9 to that, that's 105. Now, 105 doesn't have any common factors. 64 and 32 have a common factor of 32. Okay, because you could divide 32 by itself to get 1. 64 divided by 32 is 2. So 105 times 2 is 210, and then 11. Can't do that in my head very well, so 11 into 21 twice. 11 times 2 is 20. Okay, bring the 0 down. Now, 11 doesn't go into 10, so I put a 0. Okay, a lot of people would forget that when I used to teach middle school math. Okay, 11 times 0 is 0, so I have a remainder of 10. So that's my remainder. That takes the numerator 20 and 10 elevenths. And there's more of this stuff on the back side. 1 ninth divided by 3. So it would be times 
put the 1 under, but then flip it, so it's 1 over 27. Fifteen divided by ten over three times three tenths. Okay, fifteen and ten share a common factor of five on a multiplication chart. Those are both in the fifth row, so divide that by five, it's two. Divide that by five, it's three. So it's going to be nine over two. Two goes into nine. Two, four, six, eight, four times. Eight is one shy of nine, so one half. 7 over 16 divided by 2 and 1 fourth, so 7 sixteenths times, but that's not going to do, okay? I can have a, f or hold on a second before I do that. First off, we need to rewrite that problem. We have a 4, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, okay? So we have 7 over 16 times 4 over 9. Well, the 4 and the 16 are both in the 4th row on a multiplication chart. So divide by 4 is 1, divide by 4 is 4. 7, 36. Okay. 3 and 9, 30 seconds, divided by 11 over 64. Okay. So again, multiplying and dividing, that whole number in the front's not going to do. Actually, I just had that problem. Okay. So I'm not going to do it. I just kind of... 8 and 5 over 16 divided by 2 and 5 eighths. Okay, neither of these is going to do in a multiplication division problem. Okay, so 16, 8. They don't have to be the same, but I need one new, a whole numerator on top. 8 times 16 is 128, plus 5 is 131. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 5 is 21. Then I make it times. A lot of people forget to do that. 8 over 21. Okay, 8 and 16, those are both in the 8th row. They're both in the 4th row, but we want to get it down as much as we can. So dividing by 8 would get that make that a 1. Dividing by 8 would make that a 2. So 131 times 1 is 131. 2 times 21 is 42. 42 into 131, I'm thinking 3 might be good. 6. Yep, 3 works. 4 is going to be too high. So 3. 42 times 3 just gave me 126. So it's a remainder 5. So 3 and 5, 40 seconds. Okay, 4 divided by 6 and 1 half. Well, the 4 can go over 1, make that times, but to flip that, I need to first rewrite it. 12 plus 1 is 13. Okay, 4 and 2 divided by 2, that's 1, that's 2. So that's 26. 1 times 1 on the bottom is 1, which just means it's 26. Wait a second, I'd do that. Oops, I forgot to make it 2. That should be 2 over 13. That didn't even make any sense. 4 divided by 6, 26. Okay. So 4 over 1 times 2 over 13. So it's 8 over 13. Simplest form. 7 1 half divided by 3 and 5 6. So we got the 2 and the 6. So 14 plus 1 is 15. 18 plus 5 is 21. Now again, that needs to be rewritten, which I forgot to do on the last one. So times 6 over 21. Okay, 15 and 2, no common factors. 15 and 21 are in the third row, so divide by 3, that's 5, that's 7. So I got 5, 6, 2, and 7. Well, 6 and 2 are in the second row, so divide by 2 would be 1, divide by 2 would be 3. And 5 times 3 is 15. I ended up with 1 times 7, 7. Now 7 goes into 15. You got 7, 14. So that's two groups of 7. There's one left over. So 2 and 1 seventh.